Hello and welcome back to our Epic Builds video. Today I will be showing off this massive aircraft carrier that I built with the help of my dad. You can tell it has an aircraft carrier fleet on the back, it has a runway, and this is not just an aircraft carrier, it also holds boats. So you have one boat attached here, another boat attached on the other side, and one boat attached in the front. And surprisingly, this whole thing will float. I will also be showing that off in today's video. In the back here, in the aircraft carrier, storage, I have to push that frame down a little bit. You have four different fleets of jets. You have a num number one with eight by two wings, wheels, and a six by two um, chassis. And for the, the second two fleets, you have six by two wings and chassis with wheels. And on the bottom of all these planes, we show you here, we have little skids so they can bump along. These skids fit into that little groove there, right here. And that is pretty cool. In the front on these ships, actually, we're start here, they are connected with um, the tectonic grips. Tell right there, there. Just push it back in. It is a little hard to do with one hand. It's okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, there. My camera fell. So they have the other side. So pretty much the same there. The front is different. So on this ship, you're gonna lift and grab somewhere. Lift up. Pull out. So you can see right here, we got three studs on each side sticking out. We got a couple cannons in the front. And we got this this main section. These pieces right here, so on each side, are what help it stay in by it and the ship. So in there you can see like this out. It's kind of heavy even. It's pretty dark, but it just goes back in there, which is where that ship is. Put this ship back in, and then push down on either side. Now, I will probably be showing this ship off in, in, in either a bathtub or a kiddie pool, or a doggy pool, whatever, because just of the sheer size of the thing. So you may know that like, it's just, let me just show you. So the bathtub that I filmed all of my other ship videos, like the Will It Sink or Will It Float videos, this ship has been tested, so it will not be part of the, that mini series. But it didn't even fit in that bathtub, so we had to choose, we had to move to a larger bathtub, and it just barely fits. So the ship is about, I'd say, a yard long. I think that's how big it is. I'm not sure. So. Has 12 aircrafts, dive bombers, support, and torpedo bombers. Jet ships. This ship is mainly a cruiser. It has a lot of guns on it. This ship has no guns, it's a spy spy ship. It's really low to the ground. And this one actually floats halfway underwater. So you can see where my finger is. The top of my finger is where air is. So the ship mainly floats halfway underwater, but no water gets in. You can tell here this whole ship. And then on the bottom it's also connected. So I will then be showing off the ship floating, probably in the kiddie pool. And if we are in the kiddie pool, it's going to be outside. 
So in advance, I will apologize for the bird noises. And because they do get kind of loud, especially. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, so after a long period of time, actually that wasn't that long, I got this filled up, got the ship in here. If you hear that little gurgling noise, I don't know if you can or if you can't, I'm going to go a little closer to see if you can. So it is, it is very interesting, that's actually the ship making that noise. You know, air bubbles popping up. You can see there, that ship's slowly going underwater. So if you may hear me saying that, you're like, oh no, but it's actually the ship is supposed to have to be almost always underwater like that. As you can tell, I am in the bathtub. The kiddie pool idea wouldn't work. Simply because the kiddie pool wasn't big enough. The kiddie pool was only about two and a half feet wide. And this ship is four feet long. So that wasn't possible. You can see you have the front, front boats, on and all the aircrafts. You can tell this is floating almost perfectly fine. One thing that you will notice is it is right next to the water level. It is so close. As you can tell there, I don't know if you can or if you can't, but the water is almost, just barely, almost below the ship. So, you can tell that that front is underwater. A bunch of these are underwater. The front, I think, isn't watertight. The front, yeah, it does fill up a little bit, but that's okay. Actually, I don't know. I, so you see these ships, they're underwater here. When I, if I take them out, I do not believe there's any water inside. I'm trying not to get my hands too close into the water because it's really hot. So, see if I can get this ship detached. Unfortunately, I don't have my tripod here. There we go. There is some water inside of it. You can tell it's coming out right now. But this is not, not, this is that amount of water is nothing compared to this ship. The inside entirely is hollow. So what happens inside there is the whole, half the thing fills up with water. The whole thing currently is full of water. So when you take it out, it's really hard because you have to empty all of it out. So it is floating, and I do have something that's going to be coming up next, maybe in the next two or three weeks. Um, I have a lot of time to work on that since um, we're all in quarantine. So um, I have plenty of time to work on it. I'm going to be building a another ship, and that another ship. It's going to be a battleship. So there's going to be a battleship that can almost battle this ship. So I'm going to see if I can push this ship and get it back on. Be difficult. Sorry for bad footage. I'm trying to like hold it with one hand. It's so far. Two hands, I could do this a lot better. Yeah, I don't think it can get it attached. If I set down the camera for a sec, I can, which I will. Sorry that I can't see anything right now. Connect me in. There we go. Okay, now my hands are super wet, and I don't have a towel nearby to dry them off. So there you go, you can tell it's now back attached. And the ship, the uh, planes, right, can actually take off. And get it. See. And the airplane take off, fly around. And they can land here, turn around, back up, park back in. 
I need to come. Great ship. Next video. Maybe a battleship. I'm not sure. Actually, it probably will be. This, you can tell this is a different tub. It's not the tub we film most of our ship videos in. Like I said, this ship is 4 feet long. This tub is 52 inches right now. 2 inches of water. And this is pretty deep. We um, managed, we, the ship floated on our first attempt. Built the whole thing. So, yeah. If there is any um, questions or about how I built this ship or anything, like if you want to build your own ship because you have Legos at home and you wanted a, any ideas or tips, you can tell in the comment section and if I see it before I post my next video, I will be reading through the comments and I will see if I can answer some of your questions. And maybe I can even make a whole video where I go through and I answer comments. So, I don't know if I'll do that, but it's, a, it's an idea. If I get enough comments, I will. There's the watercraft carrier. Let's stand up here. I can't even get the whole thing. That's almost the whole thing. So, that's it for this video. So, check in on the next video on the battleship. It will probably, it may or may not be in this tub. I don't know. And then with that, maybe I could put two of them in the tub just to compare. I am sorry, but the battleship is not going to be this size. But there is one perk about the battleship that I will not tell you. But watch the next video. Subscribe, the bell, comment if you have any questions or need tips. If you want to build your own, see you in the next video. Bye!